Hi guys, it's Little Lums Apothecary, and today I'm very excited to talk about L-carnosine and how awesome, like the anti-aging supplement, how it helps with glycation in your skin and your whole body and your brain. It's a super antioxidant, but it helps with damage of the proteins, but it works optimally with DMAE, which is a great skin supplement. These are both great topical and internal supplements, and also acetyl L-carnitine, which I emptied mine into this little container. Acetyl L-carnitine, we discussed in the past few videos, with, coupled with vitamin B5, and we're gonna talk about it again, how we can use it internally for a super anti-ager, like a long-term, helping with glycation and crap happening in your body. But also we're gonna make a topical serum, guys. A topical serum, a DMAE, with L-carnosine, which is amazing for wound healing and also has anti-aging benefits. Okay, guys, yes, I just discovered this somehow. I mean, it's been talked on Dr. Oz, and it's, it's kind of an oldie but goodie anti-aging ingredient uh, supplement that you can take as naturally occurs in your muscles and your brain, and it's found readily in red meat, but still we can be deprived of it. And if you eat meat and if you don't, well, then maybe you should supplement with it. But it's an amazing anti-aging ingredient. It does so many things, anti-inflammatory. It really helps your tissues at an antioxidant level. So it acts as an antioxidant against advanced glycation end product. That's what it's called, AEG. And so basically the less AEGs you have in your body, the younger you are, darlings. So it prevents AEGs, but also removes cells that are damaged in your body already. It, it, it's, the sam it's the damaging cross-linkage of proteins in your body. So it all, not only prevents these cross-linkages from forming, but it also helps remove them from your body. And when you couple it with DMAE, it actually helps increase the flushing of these wastes out of your body. And also you couple with acetyl L-carnitine, which I've been taking anyways for brain function. Let's do, okay, let's, one thing at a time here, guys. So uh, studies with L-carnitine, there's been lots of studies and it actually helps preserve the life span of your cells. So it preserves your lifespan. It preserves lifespan of cells to 200%. So cells, when they're little studies, you know, isolated, live for up to 413 days, while as without, they were 126 days. Isn't that awesome? So the main thing, it seems like, is it, that is so awesome about L-carnosine is that it protects against glycation of proteins. So if you have diabetes, for instance, it's very good for that, or if you're eating a lot of sugar, you know, that's sugar is our aging, you know, devil. <laughs> so it bonds with these carbonyl or aldehyde groups that so that they cannot attack your proteins, your cells. You're made of protein, aren't we? And it protects from the advanced forming of glycation in your body. It also has the ability to, to basically equalize your bodily functions. So it'll ramp up bodily functions that are lagging in your body, if that's what's happening, and it also sort of power down the ones that are overactive, as well as with your immune system. So it'll help boost the immune systems that are sluggish, you know, maybe in older age, and it will also help calm down overactive immune systems, think like allergies, for instance, perhaps. And also with like blood clotting, if your blood tends to clot more, then it will make thin your blood and vice versa. If your blood doesn't clot as much, it'll help it clot better. So it's, that's awesome that it'll help equalize your systems. So all of this advanced glycation or AEGs in turn leads to advanced aging, you know, diseases like cancer, Alzheimer's, Blindness is really good for your eyes and it can help increase your eyesight. Diabetes, cardiovascular disease, with regard to the skin, it's that glycation is believed to be the main culprit behind the deep wrinkles and the thinning of the skin and the mottled appearance of aged spots. So that's why it's good for your skin. It's a dipeptide composed of two amino acids, alanine and histidine. And some people actually, because it's, it's a little on the expensive side, of course not from bulk supplements, it's not. Some, I've also read, some people think that you can get the cheaper beta alanine, which I'll link to that as well, but you have to take a lot more of it. You'd have to take like between like around six grams a day. So, but then your body converts that into L-carnosine. So as we age, our body 
the, the levels of L-carnosine diminish in your body. That's the whole deal, you know? And lipofusion is kind of like dark spots, you know, like liver spots on your hands and stuff. So that indicates that you're having that also on your brain, those dark blotches, and in your organs. You know, if you're, if you're seeing it on your skin, it's also inside your body. So the DMAE, if you couple of DME, that helps flush these lipofusions out of your body and out of your brain. So well, this is why these are great Alzheimer's and memory. DMA is great for your memory and your sleep, and your mood. So DMAE will help flush the lipofusion intracellular waste out of your body. And you know, as this accumulates, we age more. And it also inhibits and reverses cross-linking lipofusions and it increases your lifespan. So coupled with DMAE, together they're a great anti-aging combination and now acetyl l-carnitine which i put all my acetyl l-carnitine because i'm taking it quite a lot put all my bulk supplements in a little jar which is what i suggest for you to do you know take the ones that you take a lot in a little jar it's easier to scoop acetyl l-carnitine carnitine carnosine different acetyl l-carnosine with the acetyl what helps it cross your blood brain barrier so it helps flush the dark blotches out of your brain man Acetyl L-carnitine helps with mental confusion, mental deterioration, and it boosts your mood, verbal fluency, <laughs> which I struggle with, and also your hand-eye coordination. There's a lot of brain benefits with this. L-carnitine, it's helping protect your body, so it'll help bind with these attackers on your proteins, your cells. If you couple with DMAE and acetyl L-carnitine, it helps flush those once it's bind, which the L-carnosine, binds with these cell attackers. Now, internally, the recommended dose for L-carnosine was 1,500 milligrams of L-carnosine a day, 120 milligrams of acetyl L-carnitine, and 240 of DMAE a day. Isn't that dope? So this is what all the, the internal benefits are. And I had stopped taking DMAE which I was taking as a nootropic, kind of a brain booster for a while. And I was having these amazing dreams and stuff, you know, and you guys have seen videos where there's the most popular video is DMAE serum. And we're going to make another DMAE serum. We're going to couple it with L-carnosine. DMAE is a bit controversial. Some people say that it actually kills the fibroblasts. I don't know why it works so well then, but the study that has propagating this belief, and maybe it's true, the DMAE was not buffered. So we have DMA bitrate here, which is buffered, so it's P, it's not as alkaline. The DMAE in the study was very alkaline, which is irritating the skin. And I guess the reason why DMA works is it hydrates the cells, so the cells plump, right? It's absorbing the water and the DMAE. But a lot of people are like, that study was done with a with a very basic alkaline, you know, very the pH was too high on the, the DMAE that they were using. A lot of people are having success with DMAE. Now the thing with DMAE as it releasing the lipofuscine, you know, the darkening of the, the skin. Some skincare experts think that that actually is happening on your skin as well, topically. So it's definitely happening internally, which is why I'm gonna be taking these. Okay, but that's also why we're gonna make a new hyaluronic acid serum. My fancy airless pump that I got. Okay, you can get these on Amazon. I'll put a link in the below. Always look at the description for this recipe. But we're gonna put like 3% DMAE and then 5% L-carnosine in our hyaluronic acid gel, which we're about to make real quick. You know, there's a video about how we make that really fast. We're gonna do that again here with the freeze in the water and they just shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. And we're gonna make 100 milliliters, dissolve the actives first, and then add the hyaluronic acid on top of that and preserve it with the combination of lucidol, lucidol liquid, which is a root radish ferment, and amnicide coconut. So these are both derived from ferments. They work best together to inhibit fungus and molds and bacteria growth in your fabulous productions at home. First, I'm going to dissolve it in distilled water, and then we're gonna fill it up to 100. We're gonna turn around, use our scale. After that, we'll put in our two to 5% of these. And so I'm gonna use 3% of each, three milliliters. See, it's nice using 100 milliliters, isn't it? So you can do the calculations fast. Three milliliters of either. Let's turn around and do our scaling, okay? Yeah. See, we have our frozen water, about 100 milliliters of that. We're not gonna use it all because we have these other ingredients to equal 100, right? So now I'm gonna put my hyaluronic acid in here. I'm gonna just do a fourth a teaspoon so that it's not too thick. 
Here we are, the fourth of a teaspoon. Put it into your cold water, close it up, and shake vigorously, and then it will get more and more thick. Okay. It's thickening. There it goes, it's thickening. If you need, eh? So I'm gonna keep letting that and shake that again. Tar. All right, DMAE. We got half a teaspoon of that. Okay, so it's a little more. 113. I'll take it. Already tarred. One teaspoon. So basically two half teaspoons. Oh, it's getting everywhere. All right. Good. Put these in our L-carnitine. DMAE. Add a little water, not too much, because I want it to be more hyaluronic acid-y. Dissolve. Let's stir it with our science shovel. Pretty dissolved. Still a little few bits. Dissolved. And now we just add our hyaluronic acid. See? This is our hyaluronic we just made very quickly. Pick it up a little bit more. So now we just put in our airless pump, loads of these in Amazon Prime. Okay, so in my solution here, I'm going to put Lewisidol liquid. You could probably go with two. This is a milliliter, one milliliter, two milliliter. Two's good. And then we got our MSAID coconut ferment. I'm gonna do two of these as well. Two milliliters. Good. Ah. Bring this up to a hundred. Voila. All right, 100 milliliters. And then you could add a little essential oil or whatever you want. <laughs> Got some to spare. I guess this is not a 100 milliliter container. Oh well, I have some extra. Voila. Mm. I'm excited. So there you go guys, another hyaluronic acid serum, DMAE and L-carnosine, which you should definitely start taking internally with L-acetyl carnitine. And we just made an awesome other serum. Yay! The formula is down downstairs in the description with all of the links to the ingredients and the recipes, so you don't have to worry. Click on the link. And we also did our preservatives. My favorite preservatives right now are fermented preservatives. These two preservatives are work very well together to resist mold, yeast, bacteria, lucidol liquid, and andeside at coconut. Formula Sample Shop, they have a combined one, so you don't have to get both of them, called Lewisidol Liquid Complete, which I'll give you a, a link to. And they also have a discount. So if you use Lita 10 in the discount, you get percent off. Hmm? They also have a bunch of other cool ingredients, ferments, and all sorts of stuff. So there you go. The Formula Sample Shop and Lotion Crafters are basically the same. Formula Sample Shop's a little bit less, but it will definitely be less if you use their Lita 10 discount. Another anti-aging discovery. This is one I'm very excited about. So if you like that video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and have fun in your concoctions and a wonderful Memorial Day weekend if you're watching at the time. Hey guys, it's Lady Lums Apotheca, and I'm very excited to talk today about L. <laughs> Delisa, a little Lewisidile, like, you know, whatever, 2% or maybe 3%, because it's usually, it's 3, 2 to 3. What does that look like? <gasps> okay. Oh. Okay. Let's discuss. L carnosine, not L carnitine, although we are going to talk. Let's see what else. I have so many notes, you guys. It's crazy. Apparently, and I mean, A L A L C. The life might. Ooh, slippery. Other naysayers think that possibly that study the. People who are pro DMAE or that are negating this conflict think that uh, say <laughs> Jesus. <coughs> it's the light go light the uh, what is it called 
like if you look up like if you've seen fat preserved with our favorite ferment and uh um alanine is a little much cheaper you can take it or yes Mm-hmm. <laughs>